Welcome back to the Gentleman's Bureau. Um, as always, I'm joined with Mark Rowe and Jedediah Barnes. Um, Thanksgiving's just around the corner. Have you gotten your turkey yet? Um, yeah. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> hey, big news. Kyle Rittenhouse, not guilty. On all accounts. On all charges, yes. So Every uh, single charge just, acquitted. Yeah. Let's just recap what he was faced with. Uh, so this started back in August 2020. Uh, riots in Kenosha over the shooting of James Blake by police. We're not going to get into that. We're on Kyle Rittenhouse now. Uh, while he was there, he was uh, you know helping out. He had his med kit. He had a fire extinguisher, but he also had an AR-15. And some people didn't like that. Uh, while he was there, he shot a number of times. Uh, he fatally wounded two people and uh, not fatally wounded another. And also... Uh, there was a couple shots fired at an unidentified man who uh, took no harm at all. So here's what we got. Five charges. Uh, the first degree, reckless homicide for the killing of Joseph Rosenbaum. And I believe Rosenbaum was the pedophile. Uh, 36. Serial. Yes, yeah, serial pedophile. Uh, first degree, intentional homicide for killing Anthony Huber. 26. And attempted first degree, intentional homicide in the shooting of Gage Grouskowitz, 28. And that's the guy that survived. He was the skater boy. And Kyle said, see you later, boy. See you later, boy. Uh, he also faced two counts of first degree reckless endangerment for shooting twice at the unidentified man. Uh, and that was in the direction of Richard McGinnis, a videographer who was uh, just, you know, trying to put it on World Star, I guess. Um, so, yeah, first, you know, a couple of homicide charges. Uh, let's see. One reckless, one intentional, and then a failed and in, attempted intentional. Attempted intentional. That's what the heck. So yeah, five charges acquitted. All accounts. The glove didn't fit. Boys, let's get into it. Um, I think after looking at all the evidence, I was astonished. Like at first, I was like, "All right, this guy." Um, I didn't know too much about it. Um, I was kind of like, uh, "Okay, this guy like." Why the fuck are you here? That was my main thing in my head. I was like, why were you even in there? Why were you in the area? Then I I was like, all right, let's go through all the 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 um the facts. He had family that owned businesses in that area, cousins such um that he was uh, guarding. The gun wasn't uh, brought across state lines. He was only uh, the gun was in uh, uh, Wisconsin. Um, he only lived right across the border, and he worked in that area prior to. And then yeah. all of the evidence that came out by the defense by the defense that um, proved that it was self defense. You know, because like I, I was very like, oh, was it self defense? I don't know. Blah blah blah. But no, after every single piece that I, I saw, you know, the guy pulled a gun. The guy got hit by a skateboard. Um, this guy was uh, within arm's reach of his the barrel of his gun. All of that just, like, to me, you know, better. And plus, all of these guys that are prior charges, it just made sense. Like, yeah, dude, self-defense. Like, this guy, obviously, he was there to help. He had a, he had uh, medical gloves on, medical kit. Um Fire extinguisher. You know, he he wasn't fi a fire extinguisher. Put out fires. This kid was just cleaning up graffiti yeah. prior to, you know, like yeah. a really community service guy. And I'm like, blown away by like how they made him look. Like, yeah. Uh, even the prosecution, like they made oh my the, the shit they were saying. They need to be. Uh, even the judge told them like you're 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 they they violated his Fifth Amendment. They, yep. you know, that's why they uh, shot for the mistrial because the prosecution was wrong on all sorts of levels. Yeah, and it's just blow, blown me away. Yeah, at first no hearing the prosecution. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so at first hearing the prosecution, I was like, oh god, this guy is like really about getting him convicted. But then the more he talked, the more I was like, yep, nope, no problem, we're good. He's just gonna keep stepping his foot and right in it. If what it was like, he was like, why were you there? He's like. And he has the, he's like, is it true that you live in Illinois? And he's like, my mother lives in Illinois. My father lives in Kenosha. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally gone. Your argument, gone instantly. His dad lived in the area. And that's probably where the AR was. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure that's probably where it was. I think it was at, not even that. No? 
I, no, it was another person. I don't it was know. his friend that yeah, had it. Was it. His, his friend had that and the ammo. Um, I forget what the friend's name is, but that's where he had gotten it from. Okay. Know. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, Mark, what were you going to say? Oh, I was I was going to say how crazy it was that I didn't like even even me not following a lot of mainstream media all the things that were wrong with this like what they were reporting was ridiculous about this kid like he was hunting down people he he was running towards rioters shooting them they were saying like he crossed state lines with a gun he he um you purposely drove into this area. He had no reason to be there and all this ridiculous stuff. Oh, he, he shot, you know, uh, black people and all this. And which it doesn't make any goddamn lick of difference whether you're black, white or, you know, purple. But all these things that they were boasting about and saying that were entirely wrong. What in the world? What in the world, everybody? Why did yeah, why um, we can't let these news outlets get away with that many lies? They need to. He needs to sue for defamation. That's what he needs he to should. do. He should. He really should because this got blown way up. Oh yeah. Yeah, he can yeah. definitely sue for defamation without a doubt. There's been lesser people that have done the same. Well, not yeah. lesser people, but lesser, um, I guess, falsities. Yeah, and. Um... Mark, you know, I almost brought this up when we were recording with uh, Pamela, but I think they were trying to use Kyle Rittenhouse as like a weird escapism from COVID, you know, like a little distraction to make make people think that COVID's, you know, you know, going away or something, you know, and it's like yeah. you're gonna you're gonna ruin this guy's like entire life. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, this kid was I 17. You're not seeing what i'm seeing jed you, seeing? you think that What's your elf eyes see <sighs> they're taking the harvest isengard <laughs> i love that song <laughs> um <laughs> no do you know what's happening right now what's happening right now Ghislaine maxwell her trial oh is it yeah and they're see, not i didn't even know uh, yeah, well, why didn't you know? You know, it's weird that you know about Kyle Rittenhouse, but, you know, something, some huge international child sex trafficking uh, conspiracy tied up in the big corporations, big people, big names. We don't hear a fucking lick of it on the news. That should be frontline news. But we just got to go to the outlets that cover it. It's unfortunate, yep. but. That's what we got to do. Thank God for the internet. Yeah, man. Like and like you were saying earlier uh, to Pam, place. like it's a it's a great thing that we have the internet to show us. Like when the big people that are you know being sold out and you know taking all these bribes to cover certain things, when they stop reporting the true things that matter to this country, we still have the internet because we there will always be somebody out there that wants to you know shred the spread the truth and get it out there. And that's a beautiful thing that we have in the in the age of technology here. Yep. He peaced out. <laughs> but, uh, oh my God. Independent journalism has like, really opened a lot of people's eyes. Imagine if we wouldn't have all this independent journalism out in the uh, you know, free market of the internet. How closed off everybody would be. We'd be following this huge narrative like, every other news company is pushing and you know i think because of that you know kyle would have had even an even harder time like um getting a jury getting everything to uh even do a court proceeding you know what i mean yeah joe what you looking up there man I'm looking at the Ghislaine Maxwell trial stuff, man. <clears throat> Apparently, she's saying that her uh, her confinement cell is riddled with, you know, vermin, 
and it smells like raw sewage. She said the raw sewage seeped into her cell. She was given moldy food, deprived of water. The guards shine flashlights at her at night. Aww. I mean, I don't think she's the most guilty in this situation, but she's definitely right up there. And it's like with one of the most heinous things in the world, um, the trafficking of, of not only other people, but young people. And not even just for like work, but for like sex work. It's completely not acceptable at all. She, you know, kind of does, you know, kind of deserves it, I want to say, you know. But I do hope that we still get the uh, the names and the list of all these upper echelon socialites that were also involved with this whole Epstein sex trafficking, child sex trafficking thing that, you know, these people will walk in the streets today and we don't even know who they are. These people are getting millions of dollars of money and endorsements and ad campaigns and movies <clears throat> and you know, bullshit. It's not going to happen, Jed. I know, because they're going to keep throwing money at it until it goes away. But we have to, as you say, How stay vigilant, money? man. Oh, sh- More than any of us have seen in one room. Yeah. Or a thousand. <laughs> Dude, Bill I, Clinton. That guy. You think he's going to let... You think they're going to let... Dude, the Clintons, there's no way this motherfucker is going to get caught. I don't know, man. There's actually a a Monica Lewinsky show coming out soon, and I'm interested to see what's uh, going to be going on in there, how they portray the Clintons in that show. (laughs) I have an idea of what's going on in there. Well, I mean, I'm pretty pretty sure I know what's going to go on in there. but (laughs) A lot of people are going to go Epstein themselves, I think. I think so, yeah. I I think that show might just get canceled before it airs. (laughs) But no, man, it's it's wild. I, I'm really interested to see how they portray the Clintons in that film and, and or show or whatever it's going to be. Um, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Oh, definitely. Um, with the uh, with the Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, she's she's going through all these terrible conditions. What what's her like? Come on, you could be like, I mean, well, we were trafficking children, but they. They had clothes, like nice clothes. They had, uh, I mean, uh, don't think about the terrible things we were making them do. God, no, but they didn't have mold on their food. and We'd never yeah. put them around sewage and damage the merchandise. I mean, no, I mean, no. no we wouldn't subject them to terrible, terrible things. We, we certainly wouldn't put about 80 kids into a shipping container and then ship that across the world on a boat with almost, you know, no food or water for uh, two weeks. So they wouldn't do that. Terrible lady. Terrible. I can't even imagine, like, how she would have the audacity, the the cojones to say anything about her conditions. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's just wild. And um, one thing that maybe, I am... Maybe Kyle Rittenhouse needs to get his AK out and take care of another serial child abuser. Maybe. 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 <laughs> um, let's get. Let's try to get that list first. Let's see if, you know, maybe we can get a couple names off of it. Some of the lower tiers. Some and, you know, of, if we get, yeah. If we can we get the get lowest two, them. and they can flip on the two above them, and they can flip on the, you know, eventually we might get them all. Maybe. Probably not. But, uh, one thing that's really got me excited about it is that the meme community is not letting it die. Every yeah. day I get on my meme apps, I see another meme about Jeffrey Epstein not hanging himself and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I just saw one the other day. It was like, Dad, do we really have to hang all these lights? And the dad was just like, well, son, just like Jeffrey Epstein, they're not going to hang themselves. And I was like, yes, make sure yeah. people know he did not commit suicide. Yeah, you almost need like a... a- a meme about Jeffrey Epstein for every holiday. So that way it just, you just keep it fresh. Yep. You know, you got the yep. Christmas lights one, you have like a Halloween one. I don't know. You, Easter bunny. Oh, I don't know what the fuck you do there. But like, I don't know. You got to keep it relevant. That's for sure. Never let it Literally. Die. You could just show a, a blank picture or what was the one I seen the other day? It was like this blank screen. It was like, see, there's nothing here. And uh, you can use your imagination, just like, <laughs> and then it went on into, just like uh, the Clintons have used their imagination to say that all these people have died. Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> right. it's, it's great. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. Memes are like very useful tools anymore because it's like it just gets all that information in one picture and it's funny. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, they're layered. They're rememberable. They're yeah. Yeah. Short and snappy. Yeah. Snappy. Yeah. yeah. Easily easily shared. They kind of skate under the radar, you know. Yep. Yeah. Not. Nice, yeah. man. Nice. Sure. What I like is uh is there's memes now that are like super meta you know it'll be like i showed my girlfriend this meme and she didn't get it and now i have to break down seven years years of meme culture for her to understand <laughs> this slight reference you know but like the whole like uh like the lost lines you know the the two verticals two verticals vertical left and then two lefts you know mm-hmm. or whatever the fucking lost lines are and like you find that all over the place and dude it's it's a really cool community and i think that collectively they're trying to do some good tons of shit posters tons of shit posters but i think collectively they just want people to wake up start looking at the world for what it is start treating people not like bags of shit hmm. i can respect that that's what i want for show for show. Show. show i saw <laughs> I, I saw one the other day i might i might tattoo it onto myself actually it was uh it was like a a tumblr post or something maybe it was discord i don't know but this person just said hey you know i'm really struggling because i try to live my life right between you know to be kind to everybody but like also i i don't i don't stand for people messing with me and then somebody else just commented like do no harm take no shit and then somebody put that in a yin yang symbol <laughs> and i was like yeah nice. do no harm take no shit and i was like this it's nice i respect that i can live by that it's a mantra i can get behind you know you know what uh i i like that maybe maybe we can segue into why is there no riots did people wake up that kyle is totally innocent and he should have never had a trial well i think or, we need to stop letting <laughs> go ahead mark or, or uh, are they uh, like What's going on? I, like I thought there was gonna be. They were calling for chaos in the streets, and but I haven't seen it yet. I just think we need to stop letting a small <laughs> faction dictate what is going to happen. A small group of people that are insignificant and are the scum of society. They don't need to fucking. They don't need to dictate everything and and decide. And plus, it's it's fucking cold. I mean, take into consideration, it's getting cold. No one wants to go out and, and riot. Whereas last time it was like, fuck it, summer of love. I think they called it in Cal- some California lady or whatever. She called it the summer of love. What do you mean? It was Oregon? like the mist of COVID, burning and and looting and it's yeah. a summer of peace. So many and people love. dead. So many people dead. Yeah, I just think we need to not take. Well, this doesn't really tie into what you were saying and but like I think like we just not we don't need to take what a small group of people has to say. They're so in, insignificant and they they make no sense. So like I I don't want to I don't want that to um make ourselves feel like that is what the majority of the people think because it's not. Yeah. It's just a small it's group of people. It's just a vocal minority, yeah. Yeah word so, and that kind of yeah and i think you know and like along the lines of like what mark was saying um it is really cold out now and uh, on top of that i mean the one place that was most likely to see some riots was kenosha right because that's where everything kind of went down but uh leading up to the verdict and uh the final tr- you know trial date and everything tony evers the governor um a lot of people don't like him a lot of people do uh I think there's probably more that don't, but I'm kind of indifferent on it because I moved the heck out of that state. Anyway, uh, he was saying that he had 500 National Guard soldiers on standby just, you know, in case something happened in Kenosha. So I think the thought of it, you know, if it being cold and, you know, them kind of being ready for these riots, people were just like, <clears throat> let's not. I want to think that there was probably some kind of influencer out there that was like, hey, let's not do this because it's just going to lead to more problems and more accidents and more people dying for no reason. And, you know, I hope that, yeah, maybe they learn their lesson. <laughs> right. And, you know, 
one thing that really surprised me, like we had that like little meeting a couple of days ago just to talk about today's recording session, and and Mark told us that they had a Black Lives Matter protest about the Kyle Rittenhouse trial in over at the the base, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't necessarily that about the trial. I'm just saying it was. It just happens every once in a while. Oh, okay. Well, why you said it before it made it sound like they were doing it because of Kyle yeah, Rittenhouse. I you said they were doing it because of the Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh, yeah. No. It, it just happens uh, every oh. once in a while. It just happens. Okay. Well, you know, that's fine. It's, it's something Either we way, forget though. About. No, no. I mean, we don't. We don't have to forget about it. Either way, though, it's like, what? What is this movement over in America like have to do with? You know, people that are Japanese, that are, uh, okay, so they're half black here, and I get it, like, being a foreigner or having a foreign face in Japan is kind of not easy. It doesn't make your life easier. It makes, but it also doesn't necessarily make your life harder, especially if you're here in Okinawa, Yeah, Japan. Because there's so many foreigners, and it's such a just a natural part of life to have foreigners around. Yeah, yeah. There's it's that. Got, yeah, because it's got the military base, it's got heavy tourism, and it's just a small island to begin with. So you know. Yeah, I mean, there you can't go outside without throwing a stone. I mean, you can throw a stone, and you're gonna nine times out of ten, you're gonna hit somebody that you know interacts with foreigners on a daily basis. All right, well, Whether Mark, how about you stop throwing stones? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's pretty... The without sin cast the first stone, and I'm chucking them. <laughs> yeah, but Mark, you, you know, you're going to make a bad name for foreigners over there chucking stones at all these people. Uh, but uh, I do want to ask, are you guys seeing some return of tourism over there now that COVID's kind of cooling down? Uh, mainland Japanese people coming like crazy over here. Uh, it wasn't that it was kind of gone it, i mean it it went away quite a bit but it never stopped does that make sense right. yeah uh, less yeah we had we had very reduced numbers of tourism but with holidays around every once in a while and our covid numbers are pretty low uh compared to everybody else i don't know why but they are and we're you know we're getting a lot of tourism back i don't know what's going to happen necessarily if we're going to have tons of you know COVID outbreaks again and then they they say okay okay we gotta stop everything one more time one more time everybody this time will be the thing no i don't yeah. see that happening though you know what what blows my mind is uh growing up we i mean i don't know about you guys but growing up i played plague inc on my phone like all the time and it was just a video game that you know you you kind of created this virus or bacteria, or some kind of disease, and you had to infect everybody on the planet and kill them. New and Zealand, hardest place to get. New Zealand, Greenland, Madagascar, and Japan were like, they were the island countries, and you know, if one of them got wise and cut down their borders, you would lose. Because they wouldn't get anybody that was infected, at all. <laughs> and I'm just like, I get this as a video game, but I mean, in theory, it should work the same way, right? You would hope. Like, well, no, they just didn't do doing. it, right? Like, it is because they didn't shut down their borders, unlike they Taiwan. Shut them down. Unlike Taiwan. Taiwan, did it. Yeah, Taiwan, smartest can be <laughs> whenever it came to that. It's because they put up with China's bull crap so many times that uh, they were they were ahead of the curve. They did it. They they knew right away. All right. All right, well, we've gotten off topic. Let's get back to Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, going forward, what do you think his life's going to be like now? I I know a lot of people are saying they're going to buy him a beer. I know a lot of people are saying they're going to hunt him and his family down. I don't know what the family did, but, you know, whatever. What do you guys think he should expect in the coming months? Um, I know he's taken, like, PTSD courses and – or counseling courses. Counseling, yeah. Um, I think <clears> – <throat> If I was him, I'd probably, I would sue the fucking prosecutors, for sure. Sue for defamation with the um, news media. Um, I mean, this isn't answering your question, but this is something I would do. But um, I, Because 
the reason I would do it if I were him is not only because he deserves it, but because that's some money he could use while, and this is what I would do, I'd go under uh, protection, witness protection program. Yeah. I'm sure that they would grant that, like yeah, especially if he's already received threats. So I guess my uh, take on where he's going is he's going to either have to get into some kind of program witness protection program or uh, or another or he's gonna have to walk around looking over his shoulders all the time because um his face is 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 easy to to uh remember so yeah. it, it's like if you see him it's gonna be like that's oh, that's yeah. yeah so yeah. it's and people are so uh they're so polarized <clears throat> on the issues and they're so heated on one side about oh he's fucking wrong he's a killer oh he's right he defend himself that you never know who you're gonna run to you know right there doesn't seem to be a lot of middle ground on this one it seems to be pretty polarized you know it's just one way or the other i don't see a lot of people in the mind like oh well you know maybe he was in defense maybe it wasn't i've seen pretty clear lines on both sides of this uh, across the board usually um and yeah I, my mom was saying the same thing that he needs to get into witness protection he needs to move he needs to get out of the area but I mean, yeah, like you said, man, his his face was plastered all over the world. Because Mark, what you were even getting news about Kyle Rittenhouse in Japan, weren't you? Yeah, there was there was small news coming out over here about, and it was a lot of the like CNN lies kind of news, and that's why I thought all these things at first about like this dude is like hunting people down, shooting them, and killing all these people, and yeah, it was bad. I mean, now. The only thing that came out in some Japanese news was about how this kid was, you know, found not guilty. And uh, most of it's about, like, how people are upset because they thought he deserved, like, life in prison and all this stuff. But, you know, got through that. He's yeah. he's golden. You know, I, I agree. Like, his life has forever changed. Uh, mentally, he's scarred with PTSD uh his name has been dragged through the mud so much that I I don't even know if he would be able to get a job at like fucking Wendy's man you know what I mean like he wouldn't even be able to have a mediocre life I think uh very it's ridiculous like what is he gonna do for employment what is he gonna do for himself he wanted to be a police officer you know how terrible that would be for him to do I I think he would get maybe day one. He he would get out there. He'd be ready to protect and serve his community, you know, like he was doing as a seventeen-year-old. Really, yeah. And, that's another uh, thing. Actually, he was in the youth. He was in the youth police force. Like he was like a, he was a cadet going into like you know pre-police stuff. You know, he's trained in while he was still in school, and his plan was to get out of school and then join the police force. And that's gone now. He can't do that anymore. No, Oof. not at all. Dreams crushed. Future ruined. Why couldn't he do that if he's a d dismissed on all charges? Uh, I think it's something about, like, a police force wouldn't want him in there because it could create a situation that wouldn't happen with a police officer. Because, like like we said, this, this was a hugely polarized case. You know, what are you going to do if... You know, you were one of the people that wanted to cause him physical harm, and then he's the officer that pulls you over. Right, exactly. but I think like, he's going to, because he had the balls to fucking pull the trigger and do what was right, and, to, and like, use proper tactics, I don't see why any department wouldn't have an issue having him. Besides I, that he issue. Puts, he puts more, like, liability on the, on the uh, department, I think. How? I think that's what we were saying. How, How is because of attacks on him as a police officer, attacks on... You what, you, you really want to fuck with that guy? A I think there, there's a lot of people that want to fuck with that guy. There's a lot of people that want to fuck with cops that Especially are Especially when he's people. armed? PCP like, yeah. does strange shit to people, you know? Because <laughs> obviously... <laughs> it does indeed. They're, it does indeed. They're, they're dumb. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think, I, know, thing I think is, he'll find his way somewhere. I just yeah. don't know where, and I don't know if he's going to have to change his name or. I, I would. I'd probably change my name, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, look at look at the Zimmerman guy. He just goes around to uh, gun shows and gets paid, you know, signing handguns basically, and bags of Skittles. Like, a, but he he's terrible what the though. Fuck, that's fucked up, man. I, and somebody told me he sold his his the, his service pistol for like thirty thousand dollars or something. Yeah, like, it was. Uh, who's this guy? Of money. George Zimmerman, Zimmerman. He was the police officer that shot Trayvon Martin down he in was, Florida. He was a police officer. Off duty? I thought he was just a dude that shot somebody. I thought he was a police officer. You know what? It's been I don't a think long he's time. a police officer. Let's take a look at George Zimmerman, eh? Yes. Uh, but yeah, he he goes around doing all that for money. I think he did like some shitty paintings or something like that for money as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different situation, but um, because. I think he was more so in the wrong with what he did, and Kyle was just defending himself. But, oh, Lord. I think the NRA or um, branches like that of groups and stuff are going to get a hold of Kyle to do some sort of promotions and stuff like that. They're going to want him to do speeches about his whole ordeal. And honestly, with his PTSD, I think that's the last thing he wants to do. It seems like. Yeah. I could sure. be wrong. Oh, yeah. He wasn't police. He was neighborhood watch coordinator. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't Big know enough about that. He also got acquitted. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, that was definitely a shitty call on his mark. I mean, this kid just had a bag of Skittles, man. He was walking around the neighborhood and... With a bag of Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> In his pocket. I mean, you could make a bag of Skittles seem like you're so going to pull a gun on somebody. That? But <laughs> What do you mean? He got acquitted. No, the case. Like, what, 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 what was the situation? He was just walking down the street with Skittles in his fucking pocket and he shot him? Uh, he was George walking Zimmerman a lot. thought that he was pulling a gun. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Get back to it. Uh, February 26, 2012. Wow, this is longer than I thought. Uh, da, 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 neighborhood Watch. Trayvon Martin was temporarily staying there at the time. Uh, the Neighborhood Watch program was not registered with the National Neighborhood Watch program, but it was administered by the local police department. Uh, apparently, he had like head injuries or something, and he claimed to have shot in self-defense. So I guess, yeah, uh, you know, this is a uh, self-defense with lethal force uh, case. Um, I don't know. I wasn't there. Didn't really follow the trial that much. But yeah, I mean, I feel like that situation could have gone better for both of them. Huh. I, I know he had like. I, I wouldn't say harass the kid, but he had said something to the kid. And I guess head injuries. Maybe the kid had, like, attacked him or something. All right, that's but what it yeah, sounds like. But, that's what it I mean, like, I can shoot I'll somebody to... and then dive onto some concrete, too. Yeah, that's true. I, I, uh, I'd have to go back and look at it. But I just remember, like, afterwards, how he became this kind of... Almost like a celebrity figure. Yeah, pseudo, yeah, like B, D list celebrity amongst, uh, you know, gun nuts and went around, you know, getting, giving out autographs, taking pictures, and kissing babies. And, yeah, you know. I think, I think Kyle would be a better person for that because, I mean, he did, you know, these were felons, you know, two, at least one of them was a felon, one of them was a serial pedophile. Um, I mean, this is, this is a stronger case for that. And it's nice too that it's just, it's nice that it was all white people just because then you can't bring racial into it really, except for the yeah. fact that it was, you know, racially charged riots. Um, and anytime you bring race into things, things get more complicated. Um, even though it really shouldn't matter, honestly, but because it is just, you know, a white guy killing white guys, it can be a little bit more streamlined. You can kind of get to the heart of the matter easier. And I think that was actually mentioned in the trial too, was that, once it was this, like, they wanted to bring racial charges to him, too. The prosecutor did um, because it was, you know, they were racially charged riots. Um, 
but when the judge threw that out, I was like, oh, thank God. That's it's going to be a little bit, you know, clearer water from here on out. You can actually get down to the facts of it. And, uh, man, whew, that prosecuting attorney, what a fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, put your finger on the trigger. Point it at the jury. Oh, that was ridiculous. Yeah, Lie no, about no. evidence. Actually even... tamper with footage. Right. Um, tampering of evidence. They're gonna. They're fucked, dude. They need to get fucked, big time. Also, did anybody else notice that they just brought in FBI drone footage like it was no big deal? Like thermal imaging on the entire freaking Kenosha riots. It was like, oh, you, you just, you guys just happened to be there. Yeah. What? Like I was just like, I was like, wait a minute. Isn't this the stuff we talked about like in 1984? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute here, and like Big nobody brother. was saying anything about it. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Was it was like a news, or was it? It was FBI footage. FBI drone footage. I thought it was a news network's drone. Yeah. But... So the the video you saw where it was like white and black, the infrared with like the orange, the green square. Yeah, that was like an FBI licensed like drone or something. Like a UAV, man. They called it a UAV on Kyle Rittenhouse, dude. <laughs> Can you believe it? On oh, man, aerial vehicle. Yeah, dude, it's crazy, man. Um, and then my favorite part was just seeing the prosecuting attorney's face when uh, they called uh, the survivor, the skater boy, up to the stand. And he was like, is it true that Kyle did not fire on you until you pointed a gun at him? That is correct. And you just see the guy just, oh, my God. <laughs> it was like, great, you're supposed dude. to lie like I do. <laughs> Jesus. Well, he had, he had, he would, like, say something, and then he'd be like, no. And then he'd show him the picture. He's like, oh, oh yeah. And that, that process went on for, like, ten minutes of questioning. Well, not really ten minutes, but I'm being was... facetious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they just asked him a bunch of. Got. They were asking a bunch of stupid questions. Like, he's like, is it true you play Call of Duty? Like, yeah. Oh, that was ridiculous. Um, he's like, well, don't. Isn't, isn't it like the main thing to kill every every person that you can in the game? And Kyle's just like, I, I don't know how to answer that. That's not. There's many modes on many games. <laughs> like he handled it perfectly. Jed, Jed is like, sitting sitting uh, back like the judge was, because the judge is like, "What is the point of <laughs> get to your question?" You know. I object. Of, uh, Relevance. <laughs> yeah. Well, the judge at the end, you could tell what the judge wanted. He was so as far as his verdict, he wanted innocent too because he was saying like, "I think today shows good faith in the ju- justice system and." Uh, I agree with all of your. Well, he didn't say that, but he's basically, you know, praising the jury for, um, you know, basically being rational. Yeah, and whenever did you see the weight that fell off that kid's shoulders? Yeah, he started. They said not oh guilty. man! Oh my god, he collapsed. He's like, he's fucking, yeah, I would too, dude. I'd be dude, fucking. Man. Your life was just given back to you. That's what happened. Yeah. Life in prison, man. That that's that's heavy. With those odds stacked against you, and you got yep. you know, you know, you got out from under the under the gun. No pun intended. Uh, well, shit, there was a pun intended. <laughs> there was there was a pun. Uh, yeah, I mean, he got he got out from under under the gun, and I mean, I'd go buy scratch offs. I'd, I'd fucking <laughs> I'd li- I'd be living it up right now. If I was him, obviously, he's going to have a lot of trouble, like, walking down the street at all. But, yeah. uh, you know, go to a rural bar, and every single person is just going to buy you beer. Oh, They're probably going to give you their firstborn daughter or something like that. You know, you're going to have... Uh, well, oh. now, Mark, you're getting into some dangerous territory there. <laughs> Kyle's going to have <laughs> girlfriends galore. I'm just saying. He's be like, the next... Uh, What's that dude out in Vegas that uh, almost was a Navy SEAL? Uh, he has oh, like that. You're talking really about Dan weird. Bolzerian. Yeah, he's going to be the next Dan Bolzerian. <laughs> That's not Bilzerian. really going to happen, but. Oh. God. 
I thought wait, I thought Dan Bilzerian was the uh, was the Area 51 guy. Poker player. No, no oh, that's Bob right. Lazar. Bob that's Lazar, Bob. you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Bob. Yeah, okay. <laughs> both I got Vegas, you. Though. Both Vegas, though. Yeah, both Vegas. Both oh, Vegas. speaking of which, um, oh, yeah. unfortunate news. My uncle Bob passed away. Area 51. Okay. Yeah. Um, sucks. But, yeah, we were going to have him on the podcast. We were going to set that up, but. Yeah, that's probably why the government killed him. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was like hoping I was like maybe I can just go to his deathbed and be like well, please spill the beans before you pass. Right. What did you I see? <laughs> uh, but, you're going to get a book in the mail in like 10 years is like Lane. This is for your eyes only. <laughs> this is for your yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. The ink huh? fades nah, away. Like every 10 like every time you right. turn a page the ink just fades away. Right. So, so you can't even you can't even like that'd you can tight. only read it once. Yeah, that'd be sick. Oh dude, that'd be so cool. But man, that's really it's really a shame. Really Anytime, that, he uh, actually got to go up with the uh little green men. I think that's that'd be dude, cool. Dude, yeah, he pulled a John yeah. Carter, John, man. He John Carter, yes. Pulled a John Carter, dude. Got in his tomb and then disappeared. Yep. No, man, I'm sorry to hear that. And anytime a, a relative passes, especially when you're kinda of close with, it's just Fuck, it hits hard, and it hits hard for a long time. And even after it starts, hit, stops hitting hard, you know, like, I'll have it at work sometimes. I'll see somebody that reminds me of an uncle, or or I'll be up at the bar playing pool, and some old time will give me a tip, and I'll just be like, oh, fuck. Ooh, this is what my uncle used to do, you know? This is, And it just it comes back really quick. But, man, you know, it's important to remember the good times. It's important to remember what they were, you know, what they stood for, and that they cared about you, and you, what you cared about them. And, yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Memories. And- yeah, he was an interesting guy. I met him uh, a couple times. Well, like times where I don't remember, he saw me on a lot. But like, wait, times you I do remember you? when I was little. Like, don't remember. Like, no memory. Yeah. You know. And then, but yeah, what'd you say, Jed? Did he mind, he mind wipe, wipe you? <laughs> You're so dumb. Uh, look right here. Yeah, just look right here. Bang. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. But yeah, so fuck it, hey boys. Well, it's Saturday night, Jed. Yeah. You know what that, that is? I know what it means? I know what it means. Uh, <laughs> so it's like playing gonna take a match. <laughs> We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go play a game where the objective is to kill everybody. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, stay safe out there, people. Uh, keep your ARs loaded, but don't take them on the streets. Uh, practice trigger discipline. Um, make sure your gun doesn't have blanks in it. Or that it does. Uh, oh, can we put the meme up of Alec Baldwin showing the prosecutor how to shoot? Oh, uh, no. I don't know. I, I don't. You have to send it to me. I'll put it I'm in. Sending if you send it to, it to the me, chat, man. And I want. Uh, there's I want so them, many. Uh, <clears throat> I want the chat to see your reaction to this one. Alec I can see Baldwin. it in real time. It's fucking real, hilarious. Real time. Look at it. I just sent it to both your to the group. Oh, I Snapchat. Right. Yeah. I gotta see this. Oh my god. I love it. Oh my fucking god. Oh boy. There was it was crazy that this that it happened, you know, right right before the Rittenhouse trial that happened with Alec Baldwin. It's like, whoa. Dude. Wowza. They're saying like Alec Baldwin knew that they like he shouldn't have shot the gun and shit. Like that's there's shit coming out, guys. Well there's a whole oh, yeah, well. there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out about that. About how like how the scene didn't feel? even call for him to shoot the gun or even have it in his hand so yeah uh well well i'm I'm excited to see what that turns into and we'll probably talk about that in a later podcast but as for now boys kyle walks free and that's good for you and me that's right. adios ladies go give kyle a kiss fellas buy him a beer kyle call me sometime man i'll get you a beer he probably wants cheese he's a wisconsin boy they make cheese beer, actually. Have you had it? It's pretty good. This sounds very Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, we got the key. We got the castles. We got the cheese castles, man. We got them. All right. And Peace. right next to the cheese castles are little plum pop cheese places that sell cheese. Let's just keep <laughs> no. saying bye to the audience until 
Yeah. <laughs> hit another topic, and then we'll just yeah, we're just gonna keep by. hitting topics. By the way, audience, man, exactly. appreciate you all out there. Um, show us some love. You know, put some put a like on this video, put a put a comment down below. You know, did you want Kyle to walk free or not? You know, all opinions are welcome, except you know the ones that are wrong. Uh, subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Gets our numbers up there. Gets more people seeing our videos, which I think is incredibly critical for the country right now. I think uh, people need to hear what we have to say. People need to exercise their free thinking and i think um watching us is a good way to do that even though that would kind of defeat the purpose but anyway like share comment down below we'll see you next week adios peace bye